Okay, we're doing this for old times sake. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is your King Eminence. Yeah, that's still just as cringe as it was like fucking two years ago. Um, anyway, I wanted to make this video. It's a video that I didn't think I was actually going to end up making for the remainder of this game. Um, but here it is anyway. As you guys may or may not know, uh, the online qualifiers for stage two for the APAC region was on this weekend, just gone. And our team had a pretty disappointing placing. We placed top six, which was not what we expected. I don't think we expected in the way that we were playing leading up to the competition. We didn't expect to win as such. We're hoping that like it would be a miracle day for us. But it didn't work out that way. We ended up losing to Hopi's team 3-1. And then lost to rival Perko, Tyson, and one other person, which I feel really bad for forgetting right now. Um, but yeah, we lost to them. Our hard points were really shit this, this weekend. Don't know what happened there. Um, but this has led, like, to what's going to happen in, in the future. Pretty much, we wanted to... When I first joined Sif, I wanted to try and stick with the same roster for the remainder of the year. We had Fate at the time. It was Fate, Chilean, me, and Bakabek. And leading up to Sydney, Sydney 2, we're having, like, disputes of how much we should be playing. And um, that led us to releasing Fate and picking up Killapie, like, a week before Sydney 2. We had a really disappointing placing at Sydney 2 as well. Placed top 6, losing to MF and then Hopi's team. Um, so both grand finalists. We kind of just brushed it off that way and said, okay, we lost to both grand finalists. We've only been a team for a week and we lost to two teams that have been together for months. Um, <clears throat> but to be honest, in the weeks after Sydney, nothing really improved. Um, so this is leading to changes happening, and I wanted to update you guys, for those of you guys that support me or anyone else on this team, or even just the team in general, um, changes will be happening. As far as I'm aware, there is nothing confirmed in the books yet. <clears throat> I don't think uh, we'll be teaming with Chilean for the foreseeable future. I think he has had an opportunity that he'd like to take, which is fair enough. Um, we all discussed it, we were like, okay, this team doesn't work, we all thought it was best to test where our options were, so I think all of us reached out to the teams and players that we wanted to team with. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what became possible for the other teammates, but for me in particular, this sort of caused the time for me to really think about what I wanted to do, and I don't know, it was a toss-up because I really don't like this COD, I hate it, um, when I compare it to like Black Ops 3, I played so much of Black Ops 3 and I can I can barely stand playing this current game, with a mixture of just like, the way that it's played and snaking and all that type of shit, I hate it, um, <clears throat> the only reason I've been continuing to play it is my drive to win, and that was the thing I had to toss up, like, Melbourne's coming up in like 4 or 5 weeks, it's already super close, and... It's like, do I want to play that and spend four or five weeks not to qualify? Or do I just, like, give up now? So, my decision that I came to at the beginning of the week was there are a lot of free agents right now, and I think that it'd be wise for me to spend the remainder of the week just testing out different teams. You'll be seeing me stream uh, these, like, I guess you could say trial pro processes. Um... But if nothing really of value happens, then we will be seeing me not attend Melbourne uh, pretty much. Which isn't a bad thing. I I will probably re return for the next COD if, if that is to happen. Um, but it will depend on how much I enjoy the game. I mean, I started playing COD purely because of the fact that I enjoy Call of Duty. I enjoy the competitive aspect of it. And... Uh, the money doesn't phase me, um, placings do phase me, but it, it's really just the fact that I love the game, and now I don't love the game, so I don't really see much point in playing unless I think that I can qualify for champs. Uh, so yeah, I'm not saying that I'm retiring yet, but I am saying that changes will be happening to this team. 
no matter no matter what. Um, I would like to take the time to wish Chilean the best of luck and congratulations to Tana Mines for taking out the online qualifier. Uh, very good team now that Cody's in there. Um, but yeah, just an update video. Didn't want to make it too long, but that's that's how things are gonna go, and hopefully it doesn't come to me quitting, and hopefully I do get a good team. But if it does, it's not all bad. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.